Obviously it's clear. Clear, 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 clear. This is my PSA dagger. PSA stands for Palmetto State Armory. Normally, if you're ordering a basic dagger, it comes with one, maybe two magazines. What I ordered was the 10 15 round magazine bundle. So, what I got was my pistol, 10 of these 15 round magazines, tools and hardware, chamber flag, and this really snazzy soft case which I've noticed from other reviews and from coworkers, whatever color you get your dagger in is the same color your case appears to come in. So I ordered the sniper green. My case came in sniper green. I have a coworker that ordered the gray. Guess what? His soft case came in the gray. This is really good quality. The zippers are really thick and chunky. Upon closer inspection, like this stitching right here, it's actually double stitched. The thickness of the bag itself, there's padding inside the liner of the bag. So it gives it a really sturdy feel. Also, you can store junk in here if you choose to. You get your little booklet and other assortments, other paperwork, other accoutrement that I store in here. Only thing you don't see right now physically on my case that I do have were the stickers. They give you about three different PSA stickers, which I appreciate, which I've already put to good use, by the way. Almost forgot, the dagger also comes with its own PSA dagger lock, which has the PSA logo on it, the Palmetto State Armory logo, and of course, the two keys. So, with my dagger, it came with the optic cut, suppressor height sights. I will admit, upon purchasing this, I later realized I could have gotten these with the rear sights mounted to the front of the optic, because I plan on mounting an optic later on. Um, I kind of regretted that. I kind of regret, I don't regret getting this one. I just didn't realize I could have gotten it with the suppressor, with the rear sights mounted to the front. It's not a big deal though. I can still co-witness with these sights. Came with a ported slide, both sides as you can see. Also, the gold barrel, gold threaded barrel, thread protector. And the thread protector has a little O-ring at the base of the threads to prevent you from over tightening and it, and it provides a nice secure seal. For those of you not in the know, for those of you that don't are not familiar with these PSA daggers, what's so cool about them is that they're basically Gen 3 Glock, Gen 3 Glock 19 clones at almost a third of the Glock price with a lot more customizations available from the factory. As usual, I will go over my likes and dislikes or pros and cons with this firearm. The biggest pro, the price. This, this firearm in this spec with the 10, 15 round magazines, it came up to a total of $400. I've seen some, you can get it for cheaper if you get the basic slide, the non-threaded barrel, things like that. Suppressor sight heights. That is a great pro. I love that. The ports in the slide, another pro. I love that also. Gives it a really cool look while saving weight. If you come down here, come down to the frame, it comes with an accessory rail. So you can mount your lasers or your flashlight or what have you. Carrying on. Another huge pro for me that I think the daggers does this better than the Glock the little takedown lever. So the takedown lever on the daggers, they stick out ever so slightly, just a slight bit more than they do on the clocks, which makes for easier takedown. I don't know why, this is so much easier for me to manipulate than it is on the clocks. 
the pistol grip this textured pattern on the pistol grip this stippling or whatever you want to call it I, I hate to admit it it feels so much better than it does on the Glocks as well it has a nice sandpaper type feel to it and of course the trigger well there's enough room for me to get my thumb get my nubs in here even wearing a glove and another massive pro because it is a Glock clone this will take Glock magazines observe this magazine came from my Glock 17 Ta-da! Glock 17 mag in a PSA dagger. Like butter. PSA dagger mag in the dagger. Release. Mm. Mm. I will say the Glock mags seem to lock in and release better. Than these mag poles or P mags or yeah, than these P mags. As for the cons, I don't have many cons, but one big con for me, as I complain about with all my weapons, well, most of my weapons, um, no external safety. I know for many of you guys that is not a big con. Most gun owners in general are not huge fans of external safeties. I understand that. What I'm stating is this is a con for me this is my personal preference but uh, yeah there's no real external safety i'm aware of this little dongle type deal right here in the trigger that's somehow supposed to be a safety and the various drop safeties that's integrated on the internals I'm fully aware i'm fully aware at the end of the day though in my opinion there's no safety like a manual external safety another con for me the sights, so I'm a huge fan of Glock's little white U sights that everyone seems to hate on. I like the Glock U sights. This would be perfect if they just did a little white outline and a, a white outline on the rear sights and a white line on the front sights, which I'm probably gonna end up doing myself. And my final con is, even though they get, they're pretty generous with the magazines, these magazines do feel kind of cheap as I, sh as I showed you earlier, ejecting, see, it kind of sticks, yeah, a little bit. Whereas compared to the Glock mags, Glock mags kind of fall right out. Like it even feels like right here, it sticks and binds a little. I have to kind of jam it in. Again, with the Glocks, it slides right in. Now, I'm sure it'll probably change over time with use, wear and tear. It'll change, so not a big con, but small con nonetheless. Now for disassembly and reassembly. I kind of really enjoy this part. I don't know why I enjoy this, what I do. Clear. Hold the trigger. Release the pressure. Take down lever. So easy to work. And it slides right off. If you know how to take down a Glock, you know how to take, take down a dagger basic recoil spring nothing fancy inner workings of the frame nothing fancy nothing to write home about it appears to have the same you know metal metal guides as glocks do now for the barrel this is where it gets slightly different compared to regular glocks as you can see it's a threaded barrel which means I'd have to, you have to take the thread protector off, like so, before you can remove the barrel, like, yeah, so. Hmm. Basic slide, pretty identical to the Glock. So I'm sure some of you are looking at this right now saying, yep, that's pretty much a Glock, and you would be correct. Yeah, you see the barrel. One thing I really like with this, not just the color, whatever this decoding is on this, it takes a beating. It stands up, it stands up to abuse a lot more than my Glock 17. On my Glock 17 right here, I see a lot of um, the coating coming off down to the bare metal. Whereas this, which I fired more than my Glock 17, seems to be standing up. You can see the marks where it gets hit where the slide rubs against the barrel, but the coating is still there. 
However, unlike the Glocks though, this seems to hang on to dirt and grime a lot more than the Glock. Like this gunk right here, it's a lot easier to remove on my Glock. And of course the barrel is rifled. Now, for reassembly. For reassembly, you take your slide like so, insert the barrel right, meow, like so. Secure the thread protector to the barrel like so. Oh, also, it matters which way you put this on. See how this end right here is slightly beveled? And this side is not. So you want the bevel side going to the threads. Like so. Get it nice and snug. Then you take your recoil spring like so. There we go. Then you take your frame, attach it to the slide like this. Smooth as butter, whoop, like that. And, ta-da. Functions check. Reset, functions check, good to go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That will be my crepe review of my beautiful Sniper Green Dagger by Palmetto State Armory. Comment below, let me know your likes and dislikes with these daggers. Do you have any questions? Do you have a dagger of your own? What are your likes and your dislikes with your dagger? Peace and chicken grease.